This is a very uh, reflective moment for me, looking back uh, nine years um, when I was elected as the first Director General from Sub-Saharan Africa. I was humbled by that uh, election. I made a lot of promises that day. I came in on a ticket of reforms. We had two choices, either to play the, the, the usual uh, diplomatic role and give good speeches and travel to exotic destinations and, uh, and you know, become good diplomats and be friendly with member countries and, and do nothing practically. Or we uh, will examine the union critically, find out its challenges and take the, the bull by the horn as they call it and, and, and undertake major reforms that was necessary. So what we did from the beginning, we think ahead the, the, the format of the UPU of the future. And, and we had this vision 2030, and uh, this was the beginning of our mandate. The main achievement were uh, to rethink the UPU, to modernize the UPU, and of course at the end to digitalize uh, the process of the UPU. Now, after the UPU Congress, the 27th UPU Congress, uh, we have proven that we have done the reform. I always very proud to say that we have done 99.8% uh, delivery on all our KPAs. I take home a lot of good memories. Uh, I miss, I will miss my staff a lot. I will miss uh, the member countries who have supported me all along. And of course, I'll also miss those who challenged me. The spirit we have in the postal sector in the UPU is unique. Here we have a very good and family spirit. Even if from time to time we are challenging a lot each other, uh, debates, of course, this is a sound way to, 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 to go and progress. Uh, but at the end of the day, we are all friends. And when somebody is not feeling well, when uh, we have sad news coming from the world about our colleagues, uh, we are all sad in the same way and, and, uh, and here we, that makes the difference in professional life. I'm very grateful for the opportunity I was given, the trust, the respect and uh, of course the, the responsibility that was conferred upon me by member states. I am forever grateful to them and I'm very proud to say that I'm living this union in a better place than I found it and that was my mission.